I said when I start drinking, you start drinking. What up everyone, this is the finale. Yeah, you guys were like, oh, I didn't know that this was a season. Yes, it's the summer season of Red Wine Talks. That's why we're outside. Why are we drinking red wine? I don't know. All right, anyways, this is Nathaniel Drew. Um, he's an American living now in Paris. Um, you reached out to me before you moved here. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I think, me stuff. well, you you have branded yourself. I don't know if you accept this title as like sort of Mr. American in Paris, mm. right? I'll accept it. So I reached out, but I was actually familiar with your material from forever ago. There's a lot of, uh, Over what was that? <laughs> Were you gonna say there's a lot of overlap? Yeah, there's a lot of overlap. Like it's, it's cool to see somebody else learning languages, traveling the world, being, yeah. doing that sort of thing. Wait, so you, you went, you were in Mexico City. Yeah. You're in Paris now, you're from Portland. You were in Italy at one point. I was in Italy last year, yeah. And like, what's after Paris? Have you asked that? Um, honestly, I'm pretty good here. Oh, so I if your visa put, gets renewed. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think if my visa gets renewed. I'd like to stay put somewhere so as to not just make friends, but like maintain friends. It's very difficult when you're getting up and starting yep. over in a new place over and over and over again. And what I found too is that like, Three months might seem like a long time, or six months even, but people will kind of protect themselves. And I do the same thing too, from the vulnerability of opening up to relationships. I was just seeing this Argentinian guy, and he was um, gonna leave in a month, and I'm like, oh, well, so I already had, I had a filter up already, like, okay, right. we'll do what we gotta do, but like, it's not gonna go anywhere. Yeah, doesn't he live here though? He said he was gonna move, that's a whole other thing. No, but I feel that I think one of the, reasons I wanted to kind of like have Paris as my home base is because I felt like I never had that like you're walking around your neighborhood and you happen to run into a friend like that part of life was missing because yeah. me and you we were both like traveling to different places right, all the time right, right, right. and so you weren't ever like tu croisais pas les mêmes gens tout le temps yeah and I was like I want to do that was that why you picked Paris is that why you ended up here like I mean there are many reasons why I picked Paris oh god here we go with your ex again <laughs> <laughs> but why did you pick Paris though because okay. wait uh, you Every time I meet up with him, he's like, oh, I've never been to Amsterdam. I've never been to Berlin. I've never been here. I'm like, yeah. well, then why Paris? Why not? <laughs> no, I know. That's, why did I just say it like that? No, I mean, because those are such good cities that I could see you in. First of all, I love the French language. And so that's, that's like a, that's a big one right there. But of all the places that I've lived in, I definitely had the strongest sense of community after my time in France. And it was from pure luck, pure luck. I did an exchange in high school. Um, and so I had four host families. The last two I stayed in contact with and were like family. But of all the places I've been, I was like, France is always calling my name. I, I miss it so much. I could not make the move to this place in the past. I just didn't have the means. Um, but now that I do, like, this is where I want to be I, for right now. And that could change. Properly, you don't know <laughs> I'm just like, can I just stop you there? I've been oh so God. irritated these past few days because it's the freaking Canicula Paris, and I just <laughs> every day I find a reason to be annoyed. Today it's hot as fuck. I was yeah. like, let's film the video on Tuesday. It's probably 95 degrees out here. That's probably like 36 or something. Oh my God. And then I'm like, let's film in the middle of the day and let's drink red wine and let's get it depleted as possible yeah. and dehydrated as possible. Yeah. But this is all strategic because I just try to get my guests as vulnerable as possible so we can dive into the deep stuff. It's working, man. It's working. There's all these rules of like what you should do, what you should put out to, to reach the biggest audience or like what works. But at the end of the day, it's my channel, my rules. Like I'm going to do what I want. Damn, I like that. And that's what actually one thing that I really appreciate about your channel. It's like you're really exploring what your voice is, what you want to be about, what you want to talk about. And people just like, I did a bee have to come with that moment. I like this. <laughs> I like, like this compliment. You're like, yeah. Yeah, sure. That's what I said. <laughs> Thank you. No, I, I, I had a switch in my content, and it was when I started this channel that I was going to be like, you know what? If I would say damn or ass or shit to my friend, then why wouldn't I say it to everyone else? Because that's who I am. No, but you've also, you went a step further. You've used copyrighted music because you're like, <laughs> Because <laughs> you're like, if it's not monetizable, whatever, I don't care. Like, this is me putting my stuff out Gosh. there. Gosh, so, yeah, some weeks I'm like, I don't, I really don't care. I and do that from time to time. I like, just want to make something that I think is cool. And if I'm listening to a good song and I like how I dance in that clip, then I want to use that. Because that's just what I want to remember when I'm 75 years old. I'm trying to get to a place where I'm not, I don't feel attached to how many people watch, how many people subscribe, how many people like. It's addictive. There's like a, 
drug-like element to it psychologically. Yeah, but is. I think I'm learning that, you know what, it comes and goes and you can just do your best and whatever. Always in waves. Yeah. Always in waves. Okay. <clears throat> Woo! Get that wine go! Oh, yeah. I start like crying or something on the <laughs> finale. <laughs> Do you feel like you are somebody who's serious? When I watch your channel, I feel like that's the impression All I've right. gotten. I am working right now on shifting directions a little bit and yep. loosening up, being more spontaneous, being more of a goofball because I am a goofball in real life. I mean, what what is your perception actually of after hanging out with me a couple times? Um, I would say your channel does it's accurate in some way. Yeah. Like the things that you talk it's about. It's me, but it's like a serious me. Yeah. Here's a weird thing. No matter how hard you try, there's always going to be like this weird ekah between what you put out into the world and like who you actually are in your real life. So I'm making it an effort to loosen it up, you know, loosen it loosen up. Like it that. up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good, um, cool. I mean, not, not good. It's just like, okay, that's going to be a change. Yeah. I mean, have you, okay, so have you gone through this? Because you've gone through an enormous evolution you're not at all the same Damon Dominique I think I'm still the same but it's just I let myself right well je me laisse aller un peu plus yeah. like I let myself go a little bit more I would say that I totally see what you mean you got like 10 15 minutes to like convey a message most of the time it's been like the goofy fun spontaneous message and then through these red wine talks I've tried to show like a more serious smart educated side or yeah. like thoughtful like yeah. reflective side. Still my goofy self, but yeah, like I yeah, wanna yeah. be like, no, I actually do give a shit. Wait, you have a thoughtful reflective side? Yeah, let me show you. <laughs> so essentialism is the, another reason why that I think that I've kind of changed in the past year having my own channel now. Oh yeah. Is the fact that I think that I've been more honest in, in the sense like in order to be funny, I think there's a sense of honesty and people aren't willing to go there sometimes. Like you have to be straight up real honest sometimes about some things. And people are like, oh, that's a little too far, like that's too risque, or like you're being mean. You also have a natural talent for being witty, dude. Like I don't, I don't quite have that. I don't have that. But I think that people do, but they're just not willing to say it. So much harder to be funny and witty and like interesting in a foreign language. Like I speak yeah. fluent French at this point. Yeah, you do. But even then, it's. It, I feel like it's harder to be impressive to French women here because I'm like, can I make that joke or not? Does it work? Mm -hmm. I'm like, boy, I really got to lean on my foreign charm. I feel like sometimes the foreign charm doesn't translate here. In my experience, I've always been like, yo, word. this is so cute. Like, I'm going to say this word with a little bit more of an American accent. And they're like, they like, it goes over their head. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like, hello, just I just a, said bonjour. Yeah, yeah, and they're just like, you're just bad at French. You're just bad. Like, I'm <laughs> like, if you said this in English, I think it's cute. I've had great, amazing fortune in France, in general, with French people. Yeah. In French places. Yeah, you know what? Some stuff doesn't make any sense. Yeah, you know what? Sometimes it's kind of frustrating, but it doesn't matter. Because people are like, you know what? This person respects my culture. I'm gonna invite them in. And that's something I try to take wherever I go. Mm -hmm. including places where I have probably, unfortunately, negative preconceived notions because of propaganda and unfortunate representation on the news, you know? Like the United States? I'm yeah, like, yeah. No, seriously, seriously. My time in Mexico was incredible. <laughs> and if you if you judged Mexico uniquely based off, off the, the news, news <gasps> you'd be like, I'm just going to go get murdered in, 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 in no time, right? And it's not like that. It's an incredibly rich culture. Yeah, my favorite thing was when Trump wanted to build the wall and there were a lot of like, <laughs> there was like a Mexican counter movement that was like, please build the wall because like we don't want you over here. And I was like, that's the shit that I love because it's taking this idea of like, Mexico is less than the United States yeah, yeah. and completely turning it on its head and being like, we don't really want that over yeah, here. So yeah. please build the wall. And you pay for it. Yeah, yeah. In terms of honesty on YouTube and like mm. being honest in your own life, I'm somebody who, this is like a, a newer thing for me also. Like everything that I say in my personal life, I kind of put out on my Instagram story or put out onto my YouTube. Do you, like, do you share that as well? Like, do you, or are there limits? Or you're like, not everybody needs to know my business. Like, there's not everyone needs to know who you're dating or like whatever. Or are you like, well, that's what I'm doing, so why wouldn't I tell everybody? I mean, there's definitely limits. Okay. And um, what, you don't feel like you have limits? I just feel like in the past year, anything that's been happening in my life, I've kind of just been telling it. Not true. You haven't shown your ex on your channel, so. 
I want to, but that's partly because I'm respecting him in the sense that he doesn't want, he doesn't like this. In fact, he watched my last video about um, my favorite books and he's like, ah, j'aime pas ma voix, je pourrais pas regarder plus d'une minute. He couldn't watch more than a minute. And I was like, oh, yeah, okay. par contre, tu m'as mis dans ta dernière, non, pas, pas ta dernière vidéo, mais... Uh, I put you in my video. Yeah. Wait, and yeah. You didn't even check. I mean, I could have seen that and been like, damn, I don't want people to... I might have felt uncomfortable with people seeing me a little bit loosened up. But you why? Know? You did that in that moment. Yeah, but it's not the image that I've constructed online. Think about it. But why? So is that not a false image then? Because that's who you are in your public. <clears throat> that's All I'm saying what you're is in the real not life. everybody's in the, at, the, at that place, you know? They aren't. No, you're right. If you're at a super open level, like, great. But not everybody's there. You know what I mean? But, like, are we not just perpetuating this concept that, like, we'll never get there if we keep just, like, filtering ourselves? Well, it's a process. You can't force it on somebody, you know what I mean? It's, I mean, okay. I don't know People love that scene, by the way. I don't know if this is a... Yeah, no, totally. And I'm, People I'm cool with it. loved it. I'm totally cool with it. Okay, if I have a camera out, clearly you know I'm filming this for... <laughs> to put it on my YouTube channel. Yeah. And yeah, but, that. you know, the thing is, like... Just because I post stuff online or I'm hanging out with a YouTuber or whatever doesn't mean I'm ready to necessarily put out everything that I'm going mm. through. I have my own version of this, which is I do a lot of like street photography, a lot of like shooting video in the streets of the places that I go in. I'm not necessarily asking uh, direct permission for, to use those, image, the bias, those yeah, images. The I'm in public spaces. I don't think I'm getting up in people's faces. I don't know if it's right that maybe you're posting B-roll with out people's permission or I'm posting videos where people are like arguing with Purple Palace <laughs> but I'm like okay so what's the deeper question there for the record if like, I'm monochrome not? I'm monochrome okay <laughs> I own it if I'm monochrome I'm monochrome but my deeper question was like okay so why aren't we okay with that I film many videos with people and they're like cool like let's film a video together and then we film it and then I have shown them the footage right and then they're like, oh, I don't feel comfortable. And I'm like, but you literally like that was you in that moment. Like, what do you mean? So you're what, not you don't you don't respect that? Are you like, well, I posted it and I, no? Then I have to redo the whole that like the whole video. But dude, that's part and of I'm the job. A, no, I mean, but, think about it. You you wield a lot of power, man. You access you have access to hundreds of thousands, voire des millions. But yeah, then I'm like, okay, then why did you want to be in the video? What I do on my channel is very obvious. It's very honest, and like this is. Like, this is what I talk about. This is who I am in public and private life. And if you want to be in the video, then why wouldn't, why do you need to filter yourself in my video? Like when it's very transparent yeah. and honest. The question for me is not like, it's not about being online or like what I'm putting online. It's like wherever it goes, I just don't know why we feel the need to filter ourselves. I think the perfect example is this. Like I was posting an Instagram yesterday and I was like, I want to say the word like ass. And I did the you dollar symbols. I did the dollar symbols, and I'm like, but why? I say ass to my mom. I say ass to my friends. I say ass in meetings. So why wouldn't I say it online? Here's what I think. You want the, the Nathaniel Drew theory on this? Top level. Okay. What works online is entertainment. People want yes. interesting. They want, or maybe educational. They want like stuff that just grabs their attention or improves their life in some way. Next level okay. is honesty, right? Like. Yes sharing authentically what you're going through, relatability. But truly, I think if you dig even deeper than that, is storytelling, dude. Yeah. And storytelling is selective. Depending on the lens that you look at things through, is actually dishonest, because you're being selective of what yeah. you share. And so when people are like, oh yeah, you know, honesty is the way to go on the internet, I think, even the honesty deeper. on the internet is selective. What is honesty? Even right now, I'm like, I have five million thoughts and I'm selecting one. Exactly. And you're so also selecting the presentation of this conversation. But I will say, like, I'm not afraid to say anything. Like, I'm not holding back. Isn't every episode of your Red Wine Talks unique based on the people Person? you're talking with and the energy and the dynamics? Like, it's impossible not to adapt at some level right. or be receptive to the energy of other people. Yeah, that's not what I'm saying though. Mm -hmm. I mean, every Red Wine Talk has been different, but I'm not like trying to put out some formal self because I've seen that like people on TV have to be more formal when they're right. presenting a show. Everyone I talk to is different though. Like I have friends that I can make fun of more. Like I don't make fun of, I've been making fun of you this time, but like typically I don't. Why? I don't know, cause like, yeah, I feel like- Is it because of my more serious image that I put out online? Maybe, probably. Are you serious, dude? Probably, cause I've seen more of your videos, and so I think like, oh, I can't tease him as much, what? because he might get more offended. Wow, really? That's not good, and that's actually why I'm trying to like- K, 
case come in point, you're not bit. your real self with your friends than with you are on well, your that's channel. Why I'm, I'm trying to like loosen up more in my material because I don't want it to seem like you can't make fun of me. You can't go for. I wouldn't you know? say that. I don't think loosen up is the right dude, word. Because I, I do can think take you're pretty. It. Come on. Have you seen all the jokes on me being Harry Potter? <laughs> What about, are there any things from your videos that you've like tested out? Cause in my point of view, you're like an alien who's here on earth. <laughs> Why'd you take that in a bad way? Aliens could be like really cool. <laughs> you're like an alien here on earth doing all these like human experiments on yeah. your channel all the time. Are there any that you're like, all right, this one's actually the best of all of them that I've tried. Meditation for sure is the biggest yeah. one. Meditation has really stuck with me. I think it's like the single biggest habit uh, that has had an impact on my life and on my like search for mental clarity. Are you still taking cold showers? I just I just started again because it's because so it's hot. hot. Okay, so technicality. I did it for a year. A year. I did it for a year and then I stopped actually upon moving here because French showers, man. What the like what the f or yeah, what? what the f? I mean I don't know. Do you bleep shit out? <laughs> This is what I'm saying. Dude, why don't matter. they just have like a stand for it so it just showers on you? You have to hold it while you're showering yourself. It yeah, makes mine's, it yeah. three times harder. You're pulled out of your drama. You're like, oh my God, I'm worrying about all this stuff. You take a cold shower. Like, none of this matters. It's I'm alive. Human. I'm alive and that's what matters. And look how lucky I am to exist. That's true. Every time I text you, he has like a window of time to what? respond. You have, <laughs> no, cause I text you and like, I gotta catch you at the right time. Cause you respond like you have 10 minute windows and then you won't look at your WhatsApp for like the next day. <laughs> so my question is, what are you doing to occupy your time? You wake up, can you just like, what are you, what are you, do yeah. you have like audiobooks on when you wake up? Like, yeah. Do you well, look at your phone? Listen to Alan Watts right now, by the way. Have you ever listened? Alan Watts is good. So good. Um, okay, what do I do? Okay, you can top me up, but I'm, I'm drinking slowly here. <laughs> Gotta protect his image. <laughs> oh my God. You know I did a video, 30 Days No Alcohol? No alcohol? Is this, am, am I breaking the No, thing? no, no, okay. it was last year. No, what I realized- You are 21, right? Like, okay. <laughs> oh my God. I've, I've deleted all like news apps, I don't mm -hmm. consume any of that shit. All social media apps too. I download Instagram only when I want to post something on my stories or on my feed or something Which is like not that. every week when you post? Um, yeah, I mean, I'll download it and then I'll delete it back off. Like I really mm. need it off my phone. And you don't do those like what? the limits on the phone? You don't like that? That shit doesn't work. You can just turn it off. You go into right. settings and you turn it off. Like it's, it's, that's marketing. That's Apple pretending that they care. What if oh. they actually do care? I don't know, if they actually cared, it's tricky because one part of me is kind of like, well, they wouldn't have designed it that way then, right? But on That's the other true. hand, it makes sense that they did because it's in their interest for people to use their products, right? It is. Capitalism, so anyway. Um, Wait, hold on, I just want to talk about that real quick. Okay. Because sometimes I have an issue when people complain about companies, like Apple, for example, yeah. and they're like, oh, they only care about money and they don't give a fuck about me, but they are putting things in place and then people see those those features like this turn off where you could turn off your or put social yeah you could put limits on your social media they'll see that as like oh but they don't really care it's like they didn't even have to offer that yeah i mean it, there's an enormous amount of irony in somebody like myself criticizing companies like apple or google or whatever <laughs> where i make my living on youtube it's tricky um and it's i think we're trying to figure out i do go to the gym i'm just really trying to get the hummus <laughs> open it, I, it'll get open eventually how does your day look? Do you stay at home? Are you writing these voiceovers for your videos like on Word? What does a day look like? What are you eating for breakfast? Do you eat breakfast? Yeah, oatmeal. You're an oatmeal guy. What does that mean? I love oatmeal. I've been trying to reduce the sugar I'm consuming. Like if you have cereal, they're loaded. They're loaded in sugar. What? Why are you laughing? <laughs> this is the most grandpa conversation. First it's oatmeal, then it's cutting back on sugar. There have been periods, especially last year, where I was like, I want to impose structure and be a productive person. And um, I heard somewhere, I don't remember where this is from, but- Probably a Damon Dominique video. Something like self-discipline is self-love or something like that, or self-love is self-discipline. Do you agree with that? Self-love is self-discipline, yeah, I agree with that. There's a part of me that's very attracted to that idea, especially as a, as a man, and I'm trying to like establish myself. On the other hand, I'm, I'm 22 and I'm like, you know what, I wanna enjoy my 20s. Like this is something I can worry about in my 30s <laughs> or later in life. Um, wow, how offensive. 
<laughs> I'm just finding something wrong with everything you say. Wait, what? <laughs> I'm about to be 30. Like, <laughs> wow, now I gotta start acting like a dog. I'm kidding. I mean, are you, are you sending emails? Are you editing videos? Are you writing scripts? The creative process for me is very organic and it's something that I've never delegated because it's something, once again, that I fought for. Like, this is what I want to do, you know? So editing a video, this kind of thing takes me forever. I mean, I'm slow, but it's part of the process for me and I, I enjoy trying to figure out what the story is. And oh, you tie it all together. Afterwards. Yeah, I figured it out as I go because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I mean, okay, here's the thing. A lot of people say like, why do you put random B-roll in your videos? It's because, <laughs> you've said that even. <laughs> I didn't say it like that. I like the B-roll. I like the, the slow-mo. The thing is, I want I've, a slow -mo. I've explained this in some videos of mine. Ultimately, it's about a feeling. I'm giving you a feeling. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to convey ideas on a kind of an emotional level. It's like, you're seeing the things I'm seeing. You're going to the places I'm going. I'm gonna wait. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Introvert, extrovert, what are your thoughts? So I honestly think that um, <laughs> based off of the material that I put out online, uh, everybody brands me as this introvert, which I am. I mean, I, I am huh? an introvert, but uh, it varies. Like after the quarantine, for example, two months by myself, I've never felt more extroverted in my life. I was right. like, I'm gonna get out there and meet people and like hang out with people. And it's, that's the thing. This sort of thing is influenced by context and by circumstances. And after doing a while of that, I was like, whoa, I'm burning out and I really want to spend time by myself right. again, you yeah. know? I think people consider themselves introvert, extrovert a little bit too quickly because for example, me, if I have roommates in my apartment, of course I'm gonna feel more introverted because I'm constantly surrounded by people. Yeah. Now that I don't have any roommates, I feel more extroverted because I I need to like go out yeah. every single day I see somebody new. Yeah, exactly, exactly. You know, it's dude. like if you're at home with your family, like of course you're gonna wanna like take some time by yourself. Somebody asked me the question, are you the kind of person that after work you go and meet up, you wanna meet up with somebody and hang out oh, or you go and wanna curl up with a book and yeah. be, and I'm like, well, hold on. My work day is by myself. And exactly. I'm all, like I spend the whole day by myself. So of course I wanna meet up with people. Same. If I was in an office working with other people, yeah, you better bet I'm gonna to wanna to be by myself afterwards. You know, so it's, that's why it's just like, we wanna put black and white labels. People are surprised like, wow, you're you're really kind of expressive when you meet up. It's because I just spent all, I spent day, by all day by myself. I'm oh, here for I this. I want to talk. I want to talk. I want to try cheese and wine and yes. whatever. How do you feel? Like, where are you at with all this? I've always thought of myself as being more outgoing and more extroverted, always. Um, Did you watch my video on introversion? I don't remember. Thanks, man. <laughs> cool. I've cool. seen so many of your videos. Good friend right here. <laughs> You can actually, count. most of my friends have like never seen. They like, well, they don't watch my videos. Yeah, you know what? Actually, that's something that I. I like, that's too. right. I don't watch your videos. I have, I actually <laughs> like that I have friends that don't care about my work online. It's nice to be in a city where not everyone is like doing something in this industry because it grounds you and you're like, oh yeah, this this ain't shit. Totally. This is a tripod in this forest, and we took three hours to get here. And we're contributing nothing to society. <laughs> we. Uh, Okay, that's where I don't... I'm just kidding, I'm just that's kidding, where... I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just Even kidding. if it's not YouTube, I feel like people have a tendency to be like, oh, but this, I'm not curing cancer. They're like working at Starbucks or something. I'm not curing yeah, cancer. Yeah. I think it's all connected. You could be the person who gets the coffee for the nurse who is curing cancer. You could be the person who makes people laugh who are in their bed in the hospital. Like, there's... It's all connected. What keeps influencing you to go from place to place to place? You went from Milan, yeah. then you went to Mexico, then you went to Great question. Oregon, then you're now here in Paris, and then maybe there'll be a next place, maybe there won't. There will be, there will be. I feel the same way, I'm like not done yet. No, never, never. And this is, once again, it's like I'm done trying to be relatable. This may or may not be relatable, because some people just do not relate to this, and that's okay. But I, I thrive in foreign environments, experiencing foreign sensations, you know what I mean? Like there's nothing that makes me feel alive like being in a place where I'm like, whoa, I don't understand how this works. I don't know how to say the things that yeah. I see around me. I don't understand fully what's going on and that's exciting. And it's also the challenge. It makes you feel alive. I feel like you, again, you're an alien on earth who wants to feel alive in a human body and it's like not easy to do. So you, that's your theory? I'm an alien? The thing a little is an bit. Alien. I mean, that's what your channel's all about. Human experiments and stuff. <laughs> not human experiments, but like experiments. <laughs> I think 
I think there's also the challenge, dude. It's like, I'm gonna do what it takes to break past the, the external barriers to get into how things operate and how people think and... As an alien visiting Earth. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay, if this becomes a thing. <laughs> so with that logic, don't you feel like your time in Paris is like kind of wrapping up because you, you're getting comfortable here? Um, good point. I think... I'm like, shit, no, don't leave. I can't have another person leave here. No, where I'm at right now is I do need a home base. Yes. to come back to. But the US never was that place for me. It was like, I don't I don't go back home with this sense of excitement, like home sweet home. Here I am again, it's yeah. good to be back. No, that's just, and we can explore that I if like you that. want, but it's just not where I was. It feels like this is my home. Every time I land at Charles de Gaulle or every time I would be in the airport and see Paris, I'd be like, that's where I want to go like, back I'm to. I'm back, baby. <laughs> I'm back, baby. But it's true, I don't feel like I'm completely done. I want to go live in Tokyo. Oh. I want to, I would love to go to Turkey. Is that what you said? Turkey, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're like, what? I didn't <laughs> <say that. laughs> Yeah, dude, yeah. I would, yeah, I'm not, I'm not, it's not over. Yo, what would a, like a vlog, a Nathaniel Drew, Damon Dominique vlog in Turkey look like? Look very different, I'm sure. <laughs> two different experiences. <laughs> <laughs> They'd be two, like two different countries. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> All right, that's where we're gonna end it. There's been a lot happening in this video. We're been Thank y'all for watching. Um, will you please go over to Nathaniel Drew's channel and subscribe to his channel. He does a lot of non-serious videos. Yeah, yeah. Very yeah. goofy. I know how to have fun as well. You like, do. Yeah. I never doubted that. You definitely do. More, more fun stuff coming. Please follow us on Instagram and we will see you in the next video. Please leave your comment below if you have any questions. Um, I know I'll be in the comments like an hour after posting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Can't Same. guarantee anything after that. If you let me know when you post, I will be too. Not guaranteed. Okay. <laughs> See you in the next video next Thursday. Bye-bye. <laughs> there we go. Okay, this is the first test to see how he's gonna react because the line one wasn't working and now he's had to trek through the fucking forest. Here he is. <laughs> Ooh. You're just gonna sit there? Oh, okay. I mean, Come on, this is Damon Dominic treatment. This is what we're working I'm with. I'm connected to nature. I don't need. Come on, we got towel I haven't washed in about 10. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay. What is that odor? I did bring this. Did you eat? Oh, brilliant. I brought some. I didn't bring much. That's fine. Oh, good. A small bottle of wine. I was stressing out. I was like. <laughs> Jesus, are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> I, I want this that. episode to be popping. Okay, well, we gotta talk for probably six more hours then. I'm kidding. <laughs> I was just with, like, <clears throat> my ex. Oh like, it's been God. one second. You no. guys ask me the questions. Y'all ask me the questions, I respond. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait, don't do that with a bee, dude. Uh, the same bee has been here. What do you want to do with the bee? Whatever, man. I'm friends with the bees. I'm friends with nature. Yeah, right, I saw you used to be vegan. <laughs> Don't start drinking this yet. We have to have a full cup when we- Dude, this is a lot. <laughs> this red wine talks so much oh finale. All right, so fill the cup up. Oh shit, I'm supposed to finish this? All right, Well, okay, I mean, <laughs> Am I too small? Like, should we be closer? Hold on. I'm, I leave room for zooms in. Where's oh, room? gotcha. Yeah, I know yeah. you're like, Oh, it's just your face on your channel. <laughs> no. <laughs> Here we show bodies. <laughs> <laughs> if I shaved my beard, you'd have doubts. Because I feel like if, I don't know, it's been forever since I've mm -hmm. shaved my beard off my face. That? But, Not um, that, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, what does that mean? <laughs> I just have a history of like kind of being mean with my friends, but it's, it's all love at the end of the day. Anyway. Not that, sorry, this, or the beard, <laughs> the beard. These newbies don't know how to handle red wine talks. Woo! I've been here every week since last year.